Jeff, how important uh, two goals could that be just to get a point on the board here? Yeah, we needed that. You know, no, no planning tactics game preparation can uh, ever outmatch that first 22 seconds. I mean, just a horrendous giveaway in our own half, not playing simple, um, maybe thinking that we're, we've arrived or something, I don't know, but yeah, so so not the, so then that happens, and of course now you're on your back foot. Credit to, uh, I mean, Akuna, what a player this is, my goodness. Um, yeah, I mean, top, top player. So we've experienced that now for that first half for sure, but we needed this, uh, we needed that finish. What did you try and change at halftime just to get the guys back in the game? Uh, well, I think the, some paint peeled off the wall uh, in the dressing room. Um, you know what, just some heart and some emotion, um, some passion, you know, to do things right, to keep playing. We had a game plan coming in. Uh, we thought we, they defend very narrow, you know, so right from the get-go, we wanted to, to get them to one side, to overload, isolate on the other, create those 1v1s, get out the box, and we didn't do it the entire first half. It was just, I guess, a strong reminder of what our game plan was, you know, coming into this. And then believing, you know, and believing. And, and then the wee man comes on, Hanson, you know, and, you know, it's amazing. I mean, we're all human. We all look at social media and you see what people are saying and, and for people to write this lad off after two games you know I hope they uh, hope they now say good things about him on Twitter that they said the the bad things the, the previous two because he's shown us quality there for us how much can you take out of this game now going forward just to have that first point on the board yeah uh, we take a ton out of that you know we take a ton out of that when it's um, you know yeah we've had a, a tough moment obviously um, finding out this morning first saying that um, you know Sandy's lost our partner uh, we've lost our first captain uh, Lowen's lost her dad, <sighs> but the second half represents Chris. That passion, that integrity, that emotion, that's what we f oh, sorry. That's what we want from this group of players. Sorry for the language, kiddies. That's what we want from this group of players. If they play like that, we can play football, you know, but we want to we wanna use this as a motivating factor. Sorry for my language, but uh, that's what we'll take from that, yeah. Has been a really difficult day, obviously, with news of, of Chris's passing. How will you remember him as, as a player in this Edmonton soccer community and a person as well? Just uh, who I want to be like, you know, quite honestly. I want to be a better man myself. Uh, you know, I'm not always a good man, and uh, he teaches what that looks like. He always has with the integrity. Whew, um, what he's brought to Edmonton Scottish, I mean, that club deserves all the credit. They work with him day in, day out, Kevin Passant, Paul Hamilton, all his close friends there on that team. And uh, yeah, it's, um, if I can be like Chris, I'll be a better person. So there you are. Thank you very much, Jeff.